ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the vlog it is Thursday afternoon uh, this morning I just basically uploaded the video and then did a whole bunch of uh, personal paperwork and then I started to organize the desk to uh, shoot the review of the food from Sophie from Austria and I just there are so many other things that I did that I didn't want to start getting out my lighting and all that stuff so I'm gonna try probably again either this weekend or early next week to do it and um, I'm thinking from now on just to give everybody a heads up food that's sent to me depending on what it is maybe I don't know again I'm always trying to figure out my channels but I'm thinking about doing uh, anything that's sent to me and put that on my vlog channel so any uh, if, if somebody sends me food from Austria or Australia or the States or Canada or wherever Japan then uh, it'd be kind of fun just to keep it on the vlog channel all I really wanted to say basically is I think from now on I'm going to kind of started rambling and I just shut up uh, any food that's sent to me is just going to be on the vlog channel let me know in the comments below what you guys think of that uh, I know it's Again, I'm trying to grow the vlog channel and it'll be kind of fun that when people mail me stuff that those things stay on the vlog channel and Because uh, this is a, a nice close community uh, group of people on this channel So uh, if you send me something for food and all that stuff I always ask people to email me first just so I know what you're sending me But I think from now on it'll be on this channel. So right now. I'm headed down to Bradford to made in Mexico to have the burrito have that all shot and edited tonight so I can put it up tomorrow and then tomorrow I'm gonna go work out and then uh, well I'm gonna drive Ben to school then I'm gonna go work out and then I'm gonna go down to Scarborough and uh, do the chicken do the uh, Jolly Bee chicken and that will be a mukbang and that will go up on Monday and that way I don't necessarily have to go out Monday I could probably just edit it Monday or I can edit it on the weekend and put it up on Monday I don't know but I, I'm, again I'm trying to work out every Monday Wednesday Friday and uh, it's so far everything's going smoothly no hiccups in the plans all right let's get down to Bradford and shoot this video arrived at made in Mexico restaurant and cantina when's the last time we heard that word besides star Star Wars the cantina all right we got light number two so that goes here nice light number one goes right there and this is our camera mount the camera will be screwed onto that. Just like that. And that's pretty much anything and everything I need out of that bag. That's gonna be my monitor where the camera is. Light one, light two, restaurant. Let's go order the food. Uh, and then I'll do my exterior shots. And I usually use my camera on this uh, to do the video of that. I don't use the camera for this. Uh, so let's go get our food and then come back here and pig out. been in there before it was uh, really nice and made me want to uh, go back grab the family and come back uh, just because it's just it almost feels like you're in Mexico hey guys it's Ken from KBD Productions TV welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just always oh, say food review uh, not as big as I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be like fill this thing you know how when you get some of those foods that we've been getting it fills up the place. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Holy guacamole, Batman. That's onions and uh, jalapeno crushed up and put all over the top. There's jalapeno juice. And then we got our tortilla chips. You sprinkle that in there. Just like that. Because you, you want them to be put in just before you eat it. 
All right, so it's chicken, tortilla, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be all hot jalapenos on top. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I am always hungry. So I'm gonna pulse this off and I'll be right back. Hang on. All right, vlog people, we're all done shutting off the lights. One, two, oh, almost shut it off properly, but I didn't, did I? All right, let's get the bag out. Who put the bag out? Ooh, 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 ooh. Who put the bag out? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, no, uh, waxing places around here with strange names to, to name this vlog. This is gonna be jalapeno spicy burrito in a car. But uh, yeah, good food, I liked it. There's a couple things wrong with it. Um, I guess you guys are gonna maybe see this video, finally, before the actual video. <laughs> the last couple days it's been reversed just because I've been putting out the vlog a day after for whatever reason, however it's been working. All right, so uh, now we got to uh, go to the beer store. Uh, I've got three cases of beer. Hang on, watch this. You still there? You still there? I've got three cases of beer from past months and months and months of drinking. That's not four days. That's months and months and months of drinking. And uh, we are going to, it's kind of weird because the camera's upside down. Uh, we're going to zip over to the beer store. I'll take you with me and show you around the beer store. Why not? Let's go. I forgot to show you around. That's the new case. Let's go home and drink it. People were moving around really fast, getting their beers, and I just totally forgot to take the camera out. I like walked in there with the three cases, gave me a special, let me turn that down a tad. So, if, you, if they know you're gonna get beer, they just give you a piece of paper with a code on it. Uh, and it'll be for the amount of money that you get back from those bottles. So it's 10 cents per bottle times 28 times three. That's how much money that they owed me. And then you go grab your, your case of beer, bring it out. They scan the case. Then they scan your bill. That deducts the deposit that you got from the bottles. And, it, and so it came to... 2.8 of beer, so 28 Molson Canadian came to $36, and it doesn't show the minus part, so I guess it's over $40 for the for the 2.8. I don't know, I haven't bought it in a while, so I don't remember what the full price is. Maybe maybe 44 bucks for, uh, I know in the States it's way cheaper to drink beer. Anyway, let's go home, party. As you can see, made it back home. Once I get home, I usually put all my stuff away. Just get it out of the way for now. Until next time. Uh, and then I unplug. Sorry, not unplug. I always put my bill here so I have a reference when I'm talking about how much it costs. I take my lights out. And then we take the battery out. Battery comes out. Camera room one, and then I've got both batteries. I've got my little cable things that Ben bought me. Take them out, plug them in. Red light. Red light. Always make sure, and I don't put the kit away until those batteries are charged up, and this is a good system to have. Um, I'll probably need this tomorrow, so I'll just put it up here for now. And that's pretty much my day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have to set up uh, for the live show. We'll be getting everything ready. I just realized didn't plug my lights in. Totally forgot again. So I'm now under the pressure. Under the pressure of a live show, which is going to happen in about an hour. So thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you very much for all the likes, all the comments. And we'll see you again tomorrow.